Two universities, one of them right here in Chicago, are joining forces to develop what would be the most powerful computer in the world. It's a partnership that was recently announced at the G7 summit, and the expectations are pretty super. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos explains. From climate change to complex chemical reactions, supercomputers have been on the forefront of addressing some of the world's most pressing problems. Now a new global partnership is aiming to create the first ever quantum supercomputer, which would usher in a new age of innovation. The University of Chicago will join forces with the University of Tokyo to build what would be the world's most powerful computer as part of a 10-year, $150 million initiative funded by IBM and Google, recently announced at the G7 summit in Japan. The Chicago area is really becoming uh, sort of a world leader in this area. Fred Chong is a computer science professor at the University of Chicago and says this type of innovation will have a significant impact on lives everywhere. It's really going to be able to solve problems that we really you know, can't approach today. Certain problems that are at a quantum scale, like understanding materials and chemistry, but also scheduling um, UPS trucks or, or uh, flights on an airline. Over the next decade, researchers at both universities will build this supercomputer powered by 100,000 qubits which is the basic unit of information in computing. Currently, the industry standard is roughly 430 qubits. The goal is to first reach 1,000, then 10,000, and ultimately 100,000, which will be a collaborative effort between both universities. Already, IBM has a 433 qubit machine, so we'll be building upon their technology. Now this partnership is set to kick off in the next couple of weeks where we could actually start to see some breakthroughs in as early as two to three years. Reporting in Hyde Park, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News.